Burnout affects a lot of people, from young teenagers to adults to working adults and above and beyond that as well. And so it's really important that we figure out how can we manage it best? Like how do we as people make sure that we can prevent burnout from happening? But also if it is happening to us, how do we get rid of it basically? And so here are a few evidence-based strategies that I think if you were to implement can just help you perform better, easier, manage your mental health better so you can feel a lot more energized and feel a lot more motivated whether you're in school or at work. One, take breaks and prioritize self-care. This sounds so simple to do and it is that simple to do but I think because it's so simple that we just simply leave it to the side and put it on the back burner so we don't address it and we don't give it the time. We don't give ourselves the time. I don't know why we do that, but we do that with a lot of things. Make sure that you just take regular breaks throughout the day, prioritize looking after yourself, you know, simple things like that. Just activities that you enjoy and you find relaxing. Number two, set boundaries. Setting boundaries in your work and personal life. And yes, those are two very different things. Can help prevent burnout because you're not mixing two different worlds. When I was in high school, I used to study on my bed. Like I used to do a lot of my maths questions just because they were repetitive. I used to chuck a bit of music on and I used to just chill on my bed and just do all these questions. Now that required obviously a little bit of stress and a little bit of focus from me. That's what I felt in my body while I was doing these things. And what I also noticed was that I also sleep in my bed as well. And sleep requires relaxation and like calming down. And calming down and relaxation is very different to like stress, intensity, and focus, right? So when you, when you kind of mix these two things in the same space, it's just not a great thing. It is a simple matter of, you know, on your bed, you sleep. At your desk, you study. Simple things like that. And also don't take work home if you can avoid it. All right, there's this thing called micro stress, which I'll make another video on later on. But it's like, if you take 15 minutes of work home, like you don't think it's a big deal, but it might mean that you miss out on like centering yourself so you can be present with your family. It might mean that, you know, I don't know, the missus has to go and pick up the kids from soccer instead of you, right? Just because you're 15 minutes late. Like it's like, it's simple things like that. Things that we don't really think about, that's not a really big deal, but it has smaller little ripples and impacts later on down the track. And look, I get it. Sometimes it can be really hard to set boundaries, especially when you have like, you know, kids and like, you know, you have like a, like a dog, right? So like, you know, sometimes it's just a little bit more difficult to set those boundaries, but we can obviously try our best. BM, wanna say hi? I say, she just, she, I think she just woke up from a nap. That's why she's a little bit like this. Wanna say hi, wanna say hi? There you go. Can you see? Focus, 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 focus. Not on me. Fuck on Nala. Oh, oh. Okay. Three, practice self-management techniques. There are many different techniques out there that can help you manage stress. You've got mindfulness, you've got meditation, you've got, you know, walks. Like that's my favorite one. I just grab Nala and we go for a walk. Things like that for me are helpful. Like it's once again, things that we just don't prioritize or don't really think about, but they're simple things that are easy to do. And all we have to do is just Dawn. And then we can prevent like all these feelings of like stress intensifying and so on and so forth, you know? Once again, things that we just don't prioritize, but we probably should be doing. Four, seek support. You already know I'm a really big advocate for seeking help. Like, you know, talking to your colleagues, talking to your friends, seeing a professional psychologist or counselor can be really helpful because just talking about it can just be a way to get the weight off your shoulders. I know companies have like employee assistant programs. I know Apple did when I used to work for them in the past. So like, you know, take advantage of those things. Like I actually, you can even just, I know what it's like in Australia at least. You can just literally go to your GP. I did this two weeks ago, by the way. I went to my GP and I asked for a mental health care plan. Like that's all it was. Now I'm in the process of like getting linked up with a psychologist or like a counselor. So, you know, it's as simple as that. Seeking support just helps you feel less isolated and more inspired to make changes. And number five, this is obviously a harder one to do, but that is address workplace issues. This is stuff like workload, role ambiguity, lack of social support. Like if you can address these things and can prevent burnout, it might mean that you have to communicate with your supervisor or HR. Toby is in HR. And advocate for like policy changes or whatever. Or just once again, seeking out resources and support. By the way, I understand a lot of what I have just said is easier said than done. And so if I were you, in which some cases I am because I watch my own videos for help, I would be taking like the easiest and most effective solution for me. Um, and also focus on the things that I have the most control over. So like things like boundaries or like, you know, personal self-care, 
right? Or like, you know, stress management techniques. Like these are things that I mainly have the most control over. Like no one else really has control over it except me. So I'm the one that can make the effective change and I don't have to wait for anyone else, right? I'll be focusing on things like that. It's a great starting point, at least. And so that is it. If you wanna know a few easy ways you can look after your mental health, you can have a look at this video right here. I feel like that'll be pretty helpful to you. So with this video that you're watching right now and that video, you'll be in tip top shape to look after your mental health and perform at work or in school, wherever your daily activities are. Other than that, I will see you in the next one. Catch you later. Bye.